Hello, in this video I would like to show you the components of this summon effect I've made some time ago. I've tried to combine animation with this ground fracture simulation I've done in Houdini and on top of that I've added a few fast moving special effects using Niagara. Okay, so let's look at the animation first. So I've combined together using animation montage in Unreal Engine a couple animations and basically what it is it's the chain of three animations which blend nicely together so I want to start with the skeleton coming from the ground then there's a quick roar animation and then it blends to idle uh, but in game I would imagine you would skip the idle and you will go straight to walk or run animation so I've just added idle uh, in the end for presentation purposes so having only animation, in my opinion, it looked a bit weird, so I decided to do a little bit of ground fracture in Houdini. And I imported it into Unreal Engine. In the blueprint I triggered the animation of the skeleton and the ground fracture at the right time to make it look like it's the part of the same sequence. And basically what it is, it's a very simple cylindrical shape that breaks in the middle and what I'm doing with it I'm positioning this a little bit below the ground so you only see the chunks finally let me show you some Niagara systems I've made the cast and impact but let's start with the cast as it's a lot simpler so the first emitter it's a very simple um, glowing shape um, to be honest, I originally wanted this to be a crystal, but decided to go with this uh, shape for simplicity. And in the future, I will probably replace this with some glowing 3D crystals. And the next one is just a lens, and what it is, it just adds glow to the, um, the whole effect. The third one is simple horizontal lens, which scales over time. And the last one, it's a um, smoke. Uh, so what I've done, I've done a flipbook texture just to add details. And I think I'll be using flipbooks more in the future videos as those tend to just add nice flowy movement. I just need to figure out a better process of making smoke. I'll probably use Houdini, Houdini and, um, and I'll, I'll have to create the whole setup first. Uh, once I'm done, I'll probably make a short tutorial um, how to make smoke in Houdini and bring it back to Unreal Engine using flipbook textures. The next effect it's a summon impact and um, this one's got a lot more Niagara system as I wanted player to focus on this area a bit more there on the cast. Um, the cast is there only to indicate that the enemy character is about to cast a spell. Um, so let me disable all those systems so we can go one by one okay so that one is just a spike coming from the ground the next one is spike coming from the sky and it scales over time so those two systems center where the character animation is about to play and it's to frame um, better the skeleton that will be coming from the ground as you can see, I'm using the same texture I used in the cast uh, in the previous particle system. And this one is an expanding circle texture with some UV distortion being applied through the dynamic parameter in uh, Niagara. And some cracks as well with the erosion effect. Embers, um, just to add detail to the um, whole effect. So that's a half sphere. And what it does, it's a 3D mesh, and I scroll texture um, over time. So let me open the mesh, maybe. There is, mm, and those are the UVs. So basically, what you do, you go like a, a stripe texture, and you move that texture over time uh, using dynamic parameter in uh, Niagara. Uh, the next one is lens, it's just a simple texture to add more glow um, to the whole area. 
that one it's a light I don't think you can see it here but you you definitely can see it uh, when there is some environment um, with it so basically what it is it's a light particle system which adds illumination to the environment and normally it's pretty performance heavy but I've seen it being being used in a few games recently and it always can can be scaled down in terms of performance if needed um, I think it adds nice lighting to the whole environment and the last system is the smoke that I've used in the previous uh, particle system um, just for the details As for the textures, um, I want to show you a few, and to be honest, I'm not using anything crazy. It's just the simple shapes and some noise textures. Um, I'm just using material tricks to do the distortion and just blend them nicely. And actually, the pack of the noise textures that you can see here is available on my Gamroad uh, for free to download. Um, I will leave the link in the description if you want to use them in your projects or if you just want to experiment with a uh, few materials. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it might give you some insight how these effects are done and basically a little bit my thinking behind it. 